Oh, they got some uh, something brewing over there in uh, the Razorback country. In Arkansas? Well, that's all they have out there, right? Yeah, they got college, They don't really do anything else. Sports, yeah. That's, they farm the and they play thing. baseball and, yeah, and football. So that's pretty, I mean, that's, I, it, if they're interviewing two of those guys, it, it certainly looks like that they're, they're headed towards that direction of getting a younger guy from this new age of baseball, more of the analytically driven yeah. you know, type of coach. Okay. All right. All right, Tony Brooklyn, go ahead. I just think that if they don't change the bench coach, it just, it maybe, it just kind of says that they're at a point with Boone now where they don't feel like he needs that yeah. veteran with him anymore. Because that was kind of what you heard of why they kept Larry around yeah. too. I think that was open. I think they were open about that, that veteran presence. Maybe Boone was like, yo, fuck this guy. Yeah, probably was. He's like, dude, he's old. He fucking falls asleep. He smells like game. Odor he smells like him. shit. Yeah, it's like he smells like Haffy and Werther's originals, and I can't deal with it. Like that's yeah. you know, it's like I got to fight the guy just to, like to just make a fucking mound visit. You know, he doesn't want to walk out there. Yeah. I caught him. I caught him eating fucking mothballs in the clubhouse one day. Meanwhile, the Mets had a fucking ninety-eight-year-old <laughs> pitching coach who fucking sprinted out to the mound mm. and turned the rotation around. Grandpa Larry. Grandpa. <clears throat> So, yeah, you know, Larry's gone. So now it's one less thing for everybody to complain about. We'll find another. Don't worry. Larry!